Hey, what's going on guys? It's Greg and I am too excited to hold back on getting the video done that I wanted to today. So maybe you're going to look out in the end because I just pressure washed both of the tractors and you get to see for the first time the differences between a garden tractor and a lawn tractor and the different destinies that they're heading to. So first off, we're going to start with Hank the Tank. Hank the Tank is a Cup Cadet GT2544 tractor, model year 2006. And it has entered what is now known as Phase 2 of the Dozer Conversion Project. You can see the aggro tires on there and look at that ground clearance. And look at the fact that there is nothing sticking out underneath to interfere with the ground clearance. This is a shaft driven tractor. There are no belts now of any kind on this, so everything is either electric from the Johnny Products sleeve hitch, where it's using an actuator of 500 pounds force for the up-down position, 1,000 pounds static load, and everything else is direct drive. So this is literally the ultimate garden tractor. And we are about halfway through the conversion right now. The aggros have been mounted. They look fantastic, and we're going to go for a first-person view of what it's like to have a tractor like this with ags. I can tell you from driven uh, subcompacts like the 1025R that the moment that these tires were added, the tractor took on an entirely different feel. Uh, it was much more industrial, more purposeful, and it couldn't be further away from the tractor next to it which is basically a giant lawnmower and it does the job very well and right now it weighs in at about 600 pounds with the roof and the framework the snow cap frame that's holding it up but this is about 600 pounds on your lawn on turf tires and the Cup Cadet, in comparison, we are now at about a thousand pounds with everything on it. And when we're going to be done, this will have a Johnny Products loader on the front. And we also have to add two weight racks to the rear, which are going to give you the extra 86 pounds of weight on the back with two suitcases. You can see how massive the rear end is on it. That's a one inch cast iron axle BDU 10 transmission. And what we're gonna do now is go for a ride. Uh, this particular tractor we're gonna be covering more later on as the mowing season opens, but right now the focus is on Hank the Tank. So let's get it started. FPV view. This tractor has come a long way in only 10 hours. Now the first thing you notice is that the aggro tires provide a lot of lift and they also provide stability. The rears used to be 9.50s and they are now one inch wider at 10.50 tires a close-up of how it looks on the terrain here. You can see the tires are sticking out further. The tractor has an industrial feel to it. This is my first time in my life that I'm riding on aggro tires and I can tell you that this, trans this tractor has transformed completely. Uh, when I shot the last video, when I was demonstrating the sleeve hitch, it was a completely different animal. So we're going to enter sand terrain now on my driveway. We're coming up in a few seconds. And you're going to see firsthand how it drives on the sand. The steering on the 2500 series is very industrial. It has a solid feel. This is nothing like the Husqvarna tractor. 
So we're going to lower the implement right now. And just like that, we're dragging sand. I'm going to let you get a operator view of the blade right now. hear the industrial sound of the BDU-10 transmission. The entire tractor just has an industrial quality to it that is hard to express. There's no comparison between this tractor and any kind of lawn tractor. We're going to raise the implement now. And we're gonna go up and down the road just one time. We're gonna pull some sand all the way up from the bottom and that will give you a first-hand view of how it looks. You can see the tracks it's leaving, very cool. Even without the weights, just by adding the aggro tires, it has a earth-ripping power to it. So we're gonna make a safe turn here. Fully automatic, so no gear shifting. I can literally steer with one hand. All right, we're gonna drop the blade now. All right, let's get going. There you have it. That's a demonstration of the blade for you and a first person view. I can tell you it's absolutely amazing with these tires and people who don't change out the fronts are missing out because look at that cornering. This is a two wheel drive tractor but look at that grip that we have. We are holding an incredibly tight turning radius right here. In fact, how tight of a radius? Uh, let, let's see what the camera has to show. Look at that cornering. So even if you have a two-wheel drive tractor, I highly recommend going all the way and don't do what most people do, which is just change out the rears because it's aesthetically better looking, but in the terrain that you're working with, in this, in this case, it's sand. They're acting like dune buggy paddles and they're keeping it on track. And there's just something a lot more solid about the tires. It, it's hard to explain, but it partially feels like you're riding on solid rubber, which makes sense because these are solid rubber paddles that you're riding on. We're leaving quite the uh, checkerboard as we're going along here. Or should we call it parquet flooring? sand parquet flooring. All right, we're going to stop right here. Power down. Yeah, that's what it's like when you hit the cruise control off. Yes, we were in cruise control the whole time, I forgot to mention. Hit the parking brake. So we are at 280 hours point six 
And look at that beautiful dashboard. If you haven't seen that video, I'll attach a link to it with the restoration on this. This tractor's in beautiful condition now. And apparently I didn't put the parking brake on. So we're gonna back out and this will be the final shot until I get the other video processed. But I just didn't wanna hold off on you, you guys and not release a video on this. I've been working on this for almost half a year almost a year spent locating a tractor that was suitable and it's all coming together and really it's the agro tires so if you're wondering what really makes the difference uh, there's extra lift acquired and look at the aesthetic beauty of this tractor design there's just something really organic with the flow look at the transmission hump just the curvature of it in the modern designs everything is all squared off and I think this was one of the peaks in Cup Cadet tractor design. And look at a beautiful under chassis where you have all this ground clearance. This was built for this kind of work. Once upon a time, this was a 44 inch mower deck tractor with a bagger on the back. And all it did for most of its life was mow a lawn. And now it has a much higher purpose. And I think I'm giving it what it was meant to do. So I hope you enjoyed this. And of course, I'm going to have all the cool videos out. But this is a happy day because it feels like it's all starting to come together. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.